Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we're talking about another video game triggering the SJWs into a frenzy. Last time it was Far Cry 5, a game which literally had leftists confused. Why you might ask? Well, that's because Far Cry 5 was set in Montana, a state known to have lots of conservative, Trump-supporting patriots. God bless them. And since Ubisoft, the company behind the game, strives to portray its locations and characters realistically and accurately, especially in Far Cry, well, this meant portraying conservatives as real, multi-dimensional, sympathetic human beings. Beings. And this is what confused the SJWs, the social justice warriors. Apparently they assumed conservatives would be monsters or something, but no, we're actually more reasonable and level-headed than most lefties think. Regardless though, the left was pissed about Far Cry 5 for a good long while, earlier this spring when it came out, in about March. I even made one of my most popular videos about this topic, aptly called Far Cry 5 Confuses SJWs Because Conservatives Aren't Monsters. Link below if you haven't checked it out yet, it's a winner. But now, back to today, today we're covering why SJWs are flipping over the new Doom game, Doom Eternal. Long story short, it's because the game mocks immigration, particularly the left's ludicrous platform of trying to let everyone into the United States, no holds barred, unrestricted. The new Doom game actually goofs on that idea quite a bit, and needless to say, the left wingers are furious. Let's find out more about this story by taking a look at an article from One Angry Gamer called Doom Eternal's Mortally Challenged Comment Has SJWs Calling It Gross and Anti-Immigration. Wow, I love it already. Let's go ahead and check it out. During the gameplay review, of Doom Eternal at this year's QuakeCon in Grapevine, Texas, at the Gaylord Texan Resort and Convention Center, <laughs> Gaylord, there was a comment during the demonstration about demons being mortally challenged, and that didn't set too well with the social justice warriors. The 25-minute reveal can be viewed below, running on the ID Tech 7 and featuring the ability to render geometrical vertices at 10 times the rate of the ID Tech 6 at full 60 frames per second without drops. Well, I'm not sure what all that techno babble at the end there means, but I like the sound of the mortally challenged line. That being in the game trailer already says a lot. Doom is clearly willing to not only cater to the more rational, conservative-leaning audience, they're also going so far as to goof on the left while they do it. They're the ones who love using euphemisms like refugees, instead of calling them what they are, which is illegal aliens. And from what I could tell, Doom has actual legal aliens in it, like aliens from other planets or dimensions or something. You see, it's my understanding that this new game takes the immigration debate, the one we're having in the real-world United States right now, and they parody it in the fictional Doom universe. But instead of illegal immigrants coming into America from other countries, they have illegal aliens or illegal demons coming from other dimensions or from hell or something like that. The specifics aren't too clear yet or super important right now. What is clear is the mortally challenged line they've used is an obvious diss at the left and it's word games it plays in the real world. And this is why SJWs are starting to get really pissed. Let's go ahead and read on. The gameplay was so masculine, there are probably a couple of gender fluid Twitter users who likely removed she from their pronouns list after watching that video. The comment about the demons, however, are made by a blue hologram that looks very similar to Cortana from Halo. Throughout the demonstration, she mentions a number of comments that SJWs construed as anti-SJW, such as, My brothers and sisters, let's help to make our friends transition into our world a comfortable one. Remember, demon can be an offensive turn. Refer to them as mortally challenged. Earth is the melting pot of the universe. These comments from the UAC hologram are used as a reverse propaganda tool to keep humans from being terrified of the demon invasion. Social justice warriors took offense to this, claiming that it was racist, anti-immigration, and a gross anti-SJW dog whistle. It's not really much of a dog whistle though, guys. This isn't a secret signal people might not hear. I think Doom is being pretty straightforward with it, actually. They are making a parody of the left. They're goofing on them and, of course, SJWs can't take the joke. They are so offended here because not only is the joke well executed and well done, it's also highly accurate. This exposes how ridiculous and retarded the left wing's policies are on immigration and how dumb their word policing is too. First they say let's help make our friends transition into our world comfortable. Apparently comparing the demons transitioning to earth like how transgenders transition into the other gender. Next they say the word demon is offensive so we should call them mortally challenged which again is like the left's usual euphemistic language. Then they end with the earth being called a melting pot for the universe much like how America is called the melting pot of our planet. Both of these examples are trying to make our overdoing it of immigration and embracing of multiculturalism look good when sometimes it's really not. It's often not good in fact and now I'm also getting a feeling this line could double for Muslims too. They are the dangerous invading culture taking over much of Europe, despite the leftists and socialists over there calling them helpless migrants. Muslims are really violent invaders, changing the demographics, the culture, and raising the violence and terrorism amounts wherever they land. Much like how the demons or mortally challenged invaders are taking over the world of doom. All the while their left-wing democratic surrogates are trying to whitewash the demon problem, probably, hoping to use their similar propaganda to make earthlings accept it more. Also from what I've heard, the evil corporation in the new game, called the UAC, well they're a lot like the DNC and 
Republican Socialist Party in America, the Democrats. And they have similar immigration policies in the real world too. The UAC, like the Democrats, they protect the elites, all the while also destroying the lower classes. And there's even a point in the extended gameplay trailer that the demons are taking over an area and are literally at the gates. As this happens, a low-level UAC employee is in panic, and one person is even on the phone and is heard yelling, corporate says we should let them through. At that point, the Doom Slayer, who's the player character, they arrive at the base and his reputation precedes him as the employees are getting the F out of his way. Take a look at this clip from the trailer yourself and you'll see what I'm talking about. Corporate says we should let them through! What? Why? Pretty kick-ass looking game, I must admit. Definitely gonna be playing this one, and the last one from 2016, very soon. And seeing that Doom is not afraid to be manly and unapologetically masculine, that's just great. There's already far too many cucked up soy fill games out there, so I'd love seeing a company stand their ground like this and basically say, hey, it's okay to be a man. And on top of that, again, they're also mocking liberalism. And to be honest, they're signaling to the conservatives and the anti-SJWs too. Not an evil dog whistle signal either, a real one. Like the part where the government employee said, corporate said to let them through. That's a small an almost missable moment, but it also says a lot. The leftist SJWs are right to be butthurt about this here, I have to admit. But that doesn't mean Doom is being racist or anti-immigration like they claim. This isn't racist at all, in fact. They're just having their own take on the immigration issue. And fortunately, they're smart and they've taken the right stance here. Immigration should not be open and unlimited. Letting in lots of unknown, possibly dangerous outsiders is never a smart move. The Democrats would disagree with this, of course, because they're pretending to be the nice guys. They want everyone to think they're pro-immigration because it's the right thing to do as if we'd believe they're doing it out of the kindness of their hearts. Give me a fucking break. Left-wingers want more immigration so they can get their votes in elections, and so they can continue their attack on white America, diluting our majority and our dominance every chance they get. Before we go today, let's look at a few tweets from lefties and SJWs who were totally triggered by this Doom reveal trailer. The first one comes from Super Robin who said, Not sure what to think of Doom Eternal having not one but two anti-SJW jokes in it. What happened to leaning into Nazi punching and the like? Doom and Wolfenstein 2 seem pretty self-aware of subtext, so I have trouble reading this trailer as anything but a dog whistle. What a sanctimonious little crybaby. She even says, it was okay when other games poked fun at conservatives, basically, but two little jokes about SJWs and she's totally flabbergasted. And I hate this dog whistle bullshit too. Funny enough, when leftists use the word dog whistle, they're actually dog whistling themselves, usually. They use it to say Doom or others are secretly signaling to their base about something, probably thinking we're being secret white supremacists or some shit. But that's not true at all, of course. Really, when they say dog whistle, they're they're secretly saying that person or this game in this case, they're saying we're all racist. They're the ones coding language and secretly signaling to their base. And they're projecting that onto us too. Again, accusing others of what you're guilty of is a classic left wing move, of course. Next we got a juicy one from Try Hard, who tweeted, In my honest opinion, Dune 2016 was fun and the irreverent tone was refreshing, but whatever challenge and melting pot jokes are super bad taste at a time when ICE has become the new Gestapo and white supremacists are trying to stir up mass anti-immigration sentiment. Jesus Christ, dude. Get a grip. First of all, jokes are jokes. This is a game and they're making a commentary on modern issues. That's allowed, regardless of whether it hurts your fifis or not. As for the comments about ICE, America's Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency, well, those guys are obviously not the Gestapo. They're cops who are protecting our country and our border from millions of dangerous illegals every year. These guys aren't the villains here. ICE are the goddamn heroes. But we really shouldn't be surprised when left-wingers and SJWs are anti-cop. They're anti-police because they're anti anti-law and order. Democrats want more crime and strife and chaos, so they can get more government control and dominance, and so they can make shitloads of money while they do it. Ever notice how the Clintons and Obamas got rich while they were in office? It's not a coincidence that most conservatives get rich in the private sectors, making their own fortunes on their own, paving their own way, while Democrats, they get rich in office by getting elected and stealing money from the government, or getting over-generous donations from people who want to pay them to enact policies. Surprisingly enough, there's even proof here that SJW's recognize that anti-SJW sentiments are no longer allowed in Western media. They couldn't even think of a game that contained anti-SJW sentiments until someone pointed out Kingdom Come Deliverance as an example of a developer who didn't kowtow to the SJW influences. That was a great game which we also covered before here too, on the show. And just like Far Cry 5, Kingdom Come did exceedingly well in sales and reputation, despite a few SJWs crying about it like little babies. Here's James tweeting about this and another handle named Eel filling them in about Kingdom Come. Are there any games 
games that have come out that have been influenced by anti-SJW culture. It would make sense considering how much it's ruined gaming culture in general. I just can't think of any examples of it in actual games. Next, Eel says, you should check out Kingdom Come Deliverance and the hoopla around it. Its creator is an openly anti-Muslim gamer gator, and it shows in his work. I don't know about that anti-Muslim stuff, but he definitely didn't kowtow to the SJWs. And I have a video about that too if you want to catch up on more of that story. Link below. And clearly the SJWs are shocked here. They're flipping out about Doom Eternal and I have to say, I'm loving it. Combine this new game with the ones I mentioned before, Far Cry 5 and Kingdom Come, and there's certainly a new and promising future for our side in this political battle in gaming. Conservative friendly anti-SJW games are the ones that turn out to be well made, well liked, and highly successful. All the while the games which pander to the left are failing. They're terrible and they're forgotten piles of garbage. Kudos to the companies behind the new Doom. ID Software and Bethesda Studios really earned my respect for following through with this. And I hope their game profits and does well because of it. What do you guys think? Was the mocking of immigration here done by the new Doom trailer entertaining? Do you agree with their side of the debate, comparing illegal immigrants from third world countries to illegal demons from hell? Sorry, I meant mortally challenged spirits from hell. Comment your thoughts on everything below and thanks for watching No Bullshit. See y'all next time.